Salut à tous, my name is Marion Buricatu. I am a French artist and I lived here in the United States since 2001. This video is about art and how to impress your friends and family at the museum with three easy paths. This video is the sequel of a previous video about the red and blue pigments during the Renaissance period, which was about how to impress your friends and family with three easy facts. But this video is special because I am giving you seven awesome trivia questions about the blue and red pigments that you can share with your friends and family at the museum or just have fun and uh, just to entertain them. So here is the uh, last judgment. It's a wool tapestry from the Flemish region. Uh, it's from around 1500 and this tapestry is at the Worcester Art Museum and as you can see um, everybody is dressed in blue and red. Um, okay, so let's get started with my victim of the day, my friend Debbie. Here Hello, I am. Debbie. How are you? <laughs> How are you? Nice to see you. Nice well, to thank see you as for well. Coming. Love um, having you. I love being here. Th thank you very much. Okay, so are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, question number one. What makes a color beautiful in Renaissance? What is it? It's natural, earthy tones. Mm -hmm. It's pastel and refreshing values. It's brightness and saturation. Brightness and saturation. Bravo! I can see that you listened uh, listen. very well. You're I've been learning. Yeah, bravo! This is going to help me with my painting. Oh, good. Hopefully. <laughs> Question number two. What is the translation of mother in French? So this one you should know, know. because you know my family. I know. So is it Garance, is it Gued, or is it Pourpre? It's Garance. Oh, bravo! And I love the way you say it. Okay, so question number three. The origin of the pigment madder is animal, vegetal or mineral? And I know this one based on Garance. Bravo. It's a, it's a vegetal. Yes, bravo. Um, question number four. Red pigments are the rarest pigments, the oldest pigments, the newest pigments. I'm going to go with the rarest. Ah. Nope, the answer was the oldest, oldest pigments. I was well, torn. Nice try. Yeah, thank Okay, you. question number five. A beautiful blue pigment for textile is wood. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it well. W-O-A-D. Wood. Wood. Yeah. Azurite. If I don't pronounce it well, tell me. Azurite. 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 Okay. And indigo. Which one is it? So let me repeat. Wood. Yeah. Azurite. Or indigo. I would say indigo. Bravo. Thank you. Good job. Okay, question number six. A beautiful blue pigment for painting this time. Okay, is for painting. Sapphire, lapis lazuli, or aqua blue? I will go with aqua blue. Ah, sorry. The answer was lapis, lapis. lazuli. <laughs> yes. Okay, question number seven. Lapis lazuli comes from Afghanistan, Pakistan, or the Antilles Island? Uh, Afghanistan. Bravo! You did a good job! Thank you! Well, thank you very much! Thank you! So, please, print these questions and their answer and bring your friends and family at the museum or just have fun. Also, there are many more things to say about pigments, so you can check at the link below. Nice chatting with you! Abonne-toi, which means subscribe to my channel. Have fun and see you at the next video!